What is up guys? Alright, so today, like I promised the other day, I'm going to show you guys how to build from a source file from GitHub. And specifically the Borderless Gaming. Alright, so first of all, what you're probably wondering what I'm talking about. I'm talking about Borderless Gaming, which is a $4 software you can find on Steam. <clears throat> so basically this helps you, well, you probably watched my video already, so you should know. And anyways, all you gotta do is get the Borderless Gaming source which is going to be in the description down below this is their official github source files and as you can see here you can buy it from steam or you can clone the reps uh, repus i can't talk anyway or you can clone this and um create a build from the source and the second thing you would need is visual studios community 2017 it's 100 percent free and um yeah so that's what you need. Once you have those both installed, uh, let me just close that real fast. You'll have this downloaded. You just want to extract the folder. And then once you have it extracted, you want to open it. And then you want to look for the file that says borderlessgaming.sln, which is the solution file. Um, once you open it, it's going to ask you what program to open it with. Um, just choose Visual Studios 2017. It's probably not going to say community in it, but um, it is the free one so don't worry about it and then once it opens up it's going to be like this um hold on let me make it smaller so you guys can actually see um yeah that's one issue with the music the new music the new music solution i have um yeah all right so it should be it should be something like this you basically just click on build and then you want to click on batch build and then you have this open and then you're probably like what do i do now um First of all, let me just make this bigger so you can actually see. First of all, if you're going to be doing um, like permanently, like the program permanently. Excuse me, I had like a hiccup kind of thing. I just drank a lot of water. Um, okay, so basically with the admin, that's the one you want to use. The user is the portable version. So I'm just going to do both for an example. So you want to look for the one that says release, release any CPU and you want to click build for that one and same for the user one or if you're just doing an admin or a portable one and then you just click build so now it should show up down here build started it's gonna take like maybe a minute or so probably nothing longer um, and then as you can see here it succeeded so you can finally exit out of this and then you can go oh, this music sounds good okay it's probably not um, anyways then you can go in here is you're gonna be wondering where it is it's going to be in the bin folder and let's do the admin first we got the admin we go to release and there it is let's just make a folder we're going to name it bd for borderless gaming um, admin version uh, i can't type 9.4 and just drag everything in there and drop it in there and for the admin one you want to put this somewhere in your um directory uh, for example, you can put in the downloads, you can put in your documents, or you can even put in local disk and where your games are at, or just anywhere, program files. So once you have that somewhere, um, you basically have it. This is the admin one, but um, before I run it, let me show you guys the standalone, the portable one. So you basically open a release, it's just the one under standalone user. You make a folder for it also. Um, BD, portable version 9.4 just drag everything and drop it in there and now you can put this on a flash drive and you can go to your friend's house and use it on their computer and stuff like that um, you just run it it's the same thing as before um, although I have mine to minimize but oh I forgot to open it uh, open okay there you go so there you go it's there um, this is how you build from a source file or a yeah pretty much a source file from github I'm pretty sure you can do this with other programs as well but this is one of the more well this is what I'm mainly basing it off of because it's very simple and um, I'm pretty sure not everyone's gonna trust me with my files because they say I might put a virus in it or something but yeah so this is the other way you can do it to get it for free without paying the four dollars and that's pretty much all. This is 100% legal. It's not illegal because it's an open source program. The guy even allows you to do this. And yeah. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next time. And peace. Although I'm going to make this fully 5 minutes. So I'm just going to let the music roll. <laughs> just 4 more seconds.